Hello and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Lindsay. I'm a wife and a mother to an almost one-year-old baby girl. I enjoy making homemaking videos and educational videos for you guys, so please subscribe and like this video. Here is all of my decor spread out on my living room floor and couch. Um, the decor is purchased from previous years and some from this year as well from various places such as TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Target, Walmart, um, and a few other stores maybe too. I just have some trees, garland, I have stockings, um, little trucks, and stuff to make wreaths, stuff to make garland little christmas tree garland which you will see later on in this video a diy and how to make the garland um, i also have some pillows here and blankets and some bathroom stuff so stay tuned to see where it all goes Here I'm using a non-toxic cleaner that I made myself for the kitchen table. It is made from vinegar, water, and peppermint essential oil. I love it because I don't have to worry about chemicals, especially on a table that we're eating off of. It's safe for my daughter and it's safe for my family and it gets a nice clean feeling with that peppermint scent. This table runner here was actually gifted to me by my mother. I love it. Um, I love the white Christmas trees, the plaid, and the gold accents on the trees. It's just such a nice touch. This wreath right here, um, I actually made last year. I purchased all the materials from Michaels and I got the hanger for the wreath from the dollar store. So all together, I think the wreath was like probably about $10 or maybe less. So super cheap DIY. Um, and I love making things myself because it just adds a nice touch to my home. So I was doing some more Christmas decor shopping and I found this garland at Joanne Fabrics. It was on sale for $8 a piece, which I thought was a really good deal. So I got three pieces to go up the railings on my stairs and it just adds the most perfect touch as you go up each step. I love seeing it every time I go up and down the stairs. It's just so beautiful. <laughs>
Let me know in the comments below which part of your home is your favorite to decorate for the holiday season. I mentioned mine before is the entry table, um, but I also have one more favorite place, which is the living room. I love hanging the stockings and the garland and putting all the pillows and blankets out. Um, and you will see that later on in this video, so stay tuned. purchased these stockings from Target last year. Um, they were very affordable. I think they were like eight or ten dollars a piece. These pillows are actually um, covers that I bought from Amazon last year. I think I bought a pack of three for like 15 or $20. My sister had the idea of just like using our pillows and like taking the pillowcases off and covering them with these and it was a super affordable option. So I love that she gave me that idea. And then the blankets I'm putting out on the couch are from TJ Maxx and they were like, I don't know, I think 20 to $25 a piece, which they're pretty affordable too, um, especially because they're really good quality and they keep me warm, so I love that. Here I purchased some fake snow to put on the windows um, just to make it fun for my daughter. As you can see here, she's helping me decorate or should I say watching me decorate. Um, she's very intrigued by it, but I got these pieces from the dollar store for like, I think they were a dollar for the whole pack, so super cheap. Here I'm making some DIY Christmas tree garland. Um, you need some yarn, a glue gun, scissors, a book, and I have some twine as well as some little, like, I think they're called, like little, not pom-poms, maybe they are pom-poms, those little round um, red and green balls. I can't think of the word right now, so if you can think of it, please leave it in the comments. Thanks. As you can see here, I'm taking the yarn and wrapping it around a book. I wrap it about 45 to 55 times, then I cut it, then I tie off the top part of the tassel with the twine, and then I cut about, I don't know, the outer layer of the yarn on a little tree. I just like trim it in the middle to give it like more fullness and give it a layered effect. And then I glue on the little pom-poms, the red and green pom-poms. And then after that, I loop each tassel through some twine and you will see the final result.
here is just a final tour of my home all decorated thank you guys so much for staying tuned throughout this video i truly enjoyed decorating my home and filming this for you guys hopefully i gave you some ideas to use in your home maybe this year or the following years um my home now just has such a homey holiday like feel and i can't wait to share it with my family and friends